because the water is so clear, it's obvious that Mrs. Sinewa is broken in two. Dropping down off the forward section, you come into a no man's land, this huge expanse of torn and ripped material, decks, machinery, and it was somewhere in this area that I think the Kaitan struck. On the center line of the forward deck, you could clearly see an open hatch. Its cover gone, probably blown off the morning of the explosion. This was one of the main center line tanks. Moving inside, it turned out to be this huge cavernous area. You can only imagine the explosive potential of a tank like this if it were filled with gasoline or aviation fuel. Leaving that part of the tank, you enter into what I would say is 10 meters of vertical steel, ripped and torn in long shreds. This is the part of the Mississinoa where the forward end separated from the aft section. We scoured the seabed in and around Mississinoa, and protruding everywhere from the sand were portions of wreckage. And there were so many targets, every one potentially being a piece of Kaitan, and each one had to be investigated. 